China has a long history. She experienced the vicissitudes over the 5,000 years of time. Such rich marrow has enabled all kinds of tangible and intangible culture, including calligraphy, landscape paintings, and construction methods. Today we are going to talk about the structural design of traditional Chinese temple. Hello everyone, I'm Fanny. I'm Mickey. This place is a public space located in Yongma Day called Yongshu Town. And what we stand here is the Tinho Temple, which is the temple that we are going to study at. So let's go and take a visit there, shall we? Sure. Suggested by the inscription on the stone lines at the entrance, it is believed that the Tinho Temple was built around the 1860s. At that time, when Yomade was still lying on the coastal line, a lot of people went to the sea as navigators and fishermen. As the seas are dangerous, people therefore constructed the Tinho Temple for the purposes of praying for a blessing from Tinho who was believed to be the god of the seas in China. Although the temple was once destroyed by typhoon, local residents collected funds and managed to rebuild it. The Tinho Temple was confirmed as Grade 1 historic building since May 2010. The Antid, including Chinese guardian lines, Taut Ridge, Brand, bell, and sculptures are well preserved now. A public square, Yongsu Tao, is located in front of the temple and is surrounded by the popular Temple Street Light Market. The northern side of the temple is broadened by public square streets. At the back of the temple is the public square streets children's playground and rest garden itself located along Nathan Road, the main thoroughfare in Kowloon. The Tin Hao Temple is a medium-scale temple which can be generally be defined into three parts. Tin Hao Temple is a historical building type which is called Si Hak Yun and it is commonly found throughout China. Among the main assets, Tin Hao Temple has two halls which are called Tin Din and Zheng Din, respectively. Surrounded by the left and right corridors, there is a courtyard in the center. They form a Chinese word, Hao, and it is the basic pattern in the Si Hap Yun composition. The temple has an entrance porch with side platform. The front width of Tin Hao Temple is 15.5 meters, and the bay width is 3 base. The middle one is called Megan, and the base next to it are called Qigan. The depth of the temple is 22 meters. There are four other buildings next to Tin Hao Temple. Together, they form a complex. In the center of the temple is an altar for people to worship Tin Hao. The side halls are the Xing Kuan Temple, which is for people to worship Xing Kuan. The Kuan Yin Temple, for worshiping Kuan Yin. And Shen Tan, Shuring. The Yang Ma Te Shu Yuan is also a part of the compass. In the past, this study hall was an education place for fishermen's children, and it was active until 1955. Nowadays, it is used by fortune tellers. Hello, I'm Patrick. And I'm Liu. The Tinlao Temple was built using Asian Chinese construction methods, which are totally different from nowadays building trade. The main structure of the building, including beams and columns, were all made of wood. Also, the whole temple was built without using a single nail. 
Although being damaged and repaired several times, the Tinhao Temple was still kept basically a structure of wood, with its roofs, eaves, beams, and some of the columns made of wood. The temple has a Xuanshan style eve, which suits the rainy weather in southern China. Such eve can deliver us to shelter the walls and shade rain water. The beams that connect the roof to the structural walls and columns are called Wuxia beams. Such beam system has three small beams which are connected among each other and to the roof at five places. The structural walls of the temple and the other buildings of the complex were made of mud bricks. The columns locating around the light well and the main entrance as well as the tie beams were made of stone and were engraved. The roofs of the temple were covered with green glazed tiles. The main reach of the Tinhao Temple was highly decorated with sculptures and reliefs, which were made of the Shiwan porcelain. Those reliefs described an ancient Chinese legend which talks about two dragons' rival for a pearl. The main facade of the Tinhao Temple was decorated with landscape paintings and was embossed. Nowadays, the contemporary buildings often apply concrete and steel as the major structural materials. They are usually used to build columns, beams, slabs, and foundations. Concrete as a structural element has a relatively higher compressive strength than wood which suits the large-scale construction of multi-story buildings. For example, the loads of a high-rise office building need high-strength structural members to support. Therefore, concrete will be the better option comparing to wood. Contemporary structures usually consist of sheer walls frames and columns. Shear walls and columns are mainly made of concrete due to its high strength in resisting compression forces. In many cases, the beam and column structural system which has been applied to the Tinhao Temple is still applicable for both high-rise and low-rise buildings. However, the major material used would be changed into concrete and steel instead due to their higher force-resisting abilities and durability. The performances of wood structure, on the other hand, may easily be affected by moisture and termite. Contemporary architecture seldom use pitch roof as main roof structure. Instead, flat roof with insulation is now the trend of roof design. The outer layer of modern flat roofs is made of pieces of large battery-made sheets, such as synthetic rubber, which are usually of excellent qualities. In recent years, green roof is applied to provide thermal insulations and to lower urban air temperature, which is the main cause of the heat island effect. Although such traditional way of constructing buildings is losing its importance in nowadays society, the spirit and intelligence behind are still valuable treasures which worth our remembrance. We hope that through this video, you can know more about Chinese traditional architecture as well as Tinho Temple. Thank, Thank you. you.